Yeah, how's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more of Maryland's Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Adventure. Last time, I checked out Stark Mountain with Buck. This time, I need to go back to Stark, Mo Stark Mountain without Buck. But first, I need to see Buck again. He's back at the survival area, so you want to make sure you fly back there after you've talked to him in the back of Stark Mountain, because that's really important. I think he shows up in one of these houses here. Uh, yeah, there he is. What's up? What's up with that look on your face? He's like super happy or something. Gotcha, Gramps. I'll put the Magma Stone back. That Magma Stone is keeping the Pokemon in the volcano under control. It's all right, though. I can go put it back myself. Yeah, you gotta do that. You gotta do that. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to fight the legendary Pokemon Heat Ran. It's really a bummer, because then you have to walk all the way back there. Uh, it's th like you can't fly back there. So you have to fly out literally just to talk to him. And then you have to go back. It really, really stinks. But you know what? I'm going to use this opportunity to restock on Super Repels, which I could have done there. But I'm going to also buy Dusk Balls and Timer Balls. Strongly recommend those. All right, so I have about 40 dust balls. I didn't need to buy any more, and I did stock up on a few extra timer balls, so I have about 38 of those as well. So that's eh, an all right amount. You're gonna want to be saving before you actually fight against this legendary Pokemon, anyway. So if you're using that many, you're probably gonna just want to restart anyway. Okay, I gotta make my way back here, so let me go and do that. Also, look at that shadow there. Look at that. That is like the biggest shadow. Whoa, it goes all the way across the cliff. That's actually kind of cool. I don't I don't know if that's realistic or not, though, but sure. Wait, did I never get these berries? Well, here's two Qualot Berries. Here's two Pomeg Berries. Here's two more Pomeg Berries. And here's two more Qualot Berries. Yeah, weird, I could have sworn I got that stuff. Okay, back in Stark Mountain. So I'm gonna get through this like first room because it's exactly the same. You don't have to worry about Buck. But I'm gonna be in the big room in just a moment. Okay, back in the big room. So now the buck is no longer with me. I can use those rock climbing points and those will take me to uh, areas that I wasn't able to access before. So I want to check out a few of them. There's that item right there that is just staring right at me. So if I go to the southeastern side and then kind of walk along the northern or the upper area, kind of midway through the thing. That'll get me down into this pit. Oh man, look at this. This is just so deep. So that's, uh, it's just a max elixir. I mean, that's nice, don't get me wrong, but, you know, it's not like super exciting. You'd think it'd be like the flame plate or something all the way down here, right? Now I know that there is one on the northeastern side as well, right here. Yeah, very northeastern corner. That, oh, <laughs> Rappel's effect wore off. That has a nugget. All right, well, that's fine. Can sell that for some money. Not that I really need money or anything, but you know. Okay, and then there are a few more throughout. I think there's one more on the west side, but I think the rest of them are mostly um, shortcuts. So you can kind of get to the main area where the legendary Pokemon is. But... Yeah, let me get back to the beginning. Okay, there's this big rock right here, kind of near the beginning. It's by those two. Oh, yeah, cool. There is an item up here. An Ultra Ball. Eh, you know, better than nothing, I guess. But more importantly, you can climb down there and then right back up. And I think this is kind of like a shortcut. Yeah, you can just take this one and then see where those two trainers are in the corner of the screen right now. Yeah, that takes you up there. That's that shortcut I was kind of talking about in the last episode, which you know, it's kind of nice to have those. So I don't think there's anything in the northwestern corner. Let me just double check like the southwest really fast, but otherwise I do at least have my path to get there. So that's pretty good. 
Well, here's some rocks, but I don't think... Oh no, I guess it does lead me technically somewhere. Is there any hidden item? Well, then what's the point? What's, like, what is actually the point of this? Anyway, let's just take all these rocks back over to that shortcut. That's the easiest way to go, just all the rocks leading northbound, kind of in the middle of this area. And that'll take you over to those two trainers in the corner. If you haven't already fought them, you'll need to fight them now. I did last time, though, so I can just use this as a good shortcut. Definitely a nice time saver, which is good. Okay, so I recommend saving before going uh, too much further here, because as you can see, there is a legendary Pokemon ready to fight. Now, hopefully this will go well. It is at level 70. Uh, I think I can go right up to it. Yeah, you can save right here if you really want. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to it. I did save beforehand, but yeah, it's time to fight this thing. Yeah, Heatran! There we go, the Fire Steel Pokemon. Yeah, this thing is pretty powerful too. Level 70, again, Fire Steel. A lot of special attack, so that's uh, that's pretty nice, actually. And interestingly, Heatran is one of those legendary Pokemon, one of those very few, that actually can be either male or female. It can't breed, just so that's clear. It can't breed, you can't get baby Heatran, but for some reason it's available either as male or female, unlike most legendary Pokemon. And the few that do have a gender tend to be only of one gender, like, uh, oh, I don't know, like Latios or Latias or Thunderous or whatnot. It's always one of those things that I found interesting, you know, it's like, huh, I wonder why they did that. Okay, so I didn't use a Quick Ball like I probably should have, but realistically, this thing is Catch Rate 3, so it's unlikely that even a Quick Ball will work. Like, you can try it, nothing hurts if you do that, but don't really count on it. It will take a little bit of time. Now, I didn't really have anything to affect this with, like, status conditions and stuff, so... That's kind of unfortunate. It does have metal sound though, which does lower your special defense harshly. So might not want to stick around after you've been hit by that because it will make it so its attacks do that much more damage. So I think I'm actually going to switch out. And this does help build some turns on the, uh, the timer balls too. Timer balls are a little bit better than dust balls at full strength. You just have to wait 10 turns before they are at full strength. So, the, okay, I'll just catch it like that. Well, <laughs> that was easy. Okay, sure. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Here, Ann really wanted to come with me. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't expect it to be that easy, but hey, you know what? Sometimes you can get lucky, which is great. I guess she just wanted to join after she saw it. either Dance or Floaty. I don't know. Yeah, the Lava Dome Pokemon. Fire Steel, quite heavy. So, yeah, I guess I'll give it a name. All right, we'll name her Volcanic. <laughs> sure. So, yeah, Heatran is a very strong Pokemon. Look at that special attack stat. That's not that bad, especially since there's really no investment into it. And, uh, you know, it has really good typing, very good moves. Like, it's a very solid Pokemon. And, you know, I, I definitely recommend picking it up. You could go out of your way to get this a little earlier if you want. But it's, you know, it's fantastic. Like, it's just a really good Pokemon. Very good attacking stats and stuff like that. So that's cool. Um, yeah, well, I mean, shoot, that took a lot less time than I was expecting. So, you know what? I guess what I could do, I could... Oh, man, I really do need to go underground. Well, let me use an escape rope to get out of here. I think if I go back and talk to Buck, maybe he'll say something. Oh shoot, I can't use a uh, can't use that in this room for some reason. Alright, let's see if he has anything to say now that I've caught Heatran. I don't oh, he's not even around. Heatran, so there really was such a Pokemon. Did it come to be when Sinnoh was created? That's a very good question. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, hi. Dan seems very pleased. 
Yeah, I guess Buck is just gone for now. Trainers who lose the battle. Oh, I've already talked to you. All right, well, you know what? I guess since I have a little bit of extra time, I'm gonna go ahead and fly to Route 221 and check out the uh, the Romanus Park because I did end up getting, I don't know, I think I have two of the small shards and one of the large ones. So let's see if I can exchange them for anything. Oh, I have to remember, I can buy like all the Pokeballs here too. That's kind of convenient. Like you can do that at the Pokemon League. I always just remember that. Okay, so I need one more for this Discovery Slate. I wonder if it's the same. Well, let's just go ahead and trade this Shard L for it. Cool, so I got that now. You can get these underground. And do you have any more? Okay, well, it doesn't look like it. That's fine. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and enter here. Wait, I should probably heal up a little bit, right? Ah, oh, that's fine. So I don't really know. I've never actually done this part before. So it's going to be a little bit of a mystery to me. Yeah, sure. You know what? We'll use you dance. It's fine. Let's go ahead and heal you up really fast. And then I'll check this out. and We'll, we'll see what this is all about. Okay. So. Romanus Park. Let's see. So I have things that look like they're Game Boy Advance things. So would you like to use a discovery slate? Mm, is that my only option? Maybe that's the only one I can get. I bet you that's what it is because something I need to get still one of the legendaries I need to get. Oh, the Johto room. I do need to get the Reggie's because you need to have Reggie Gigas. So, oh yeah. All right. So you do need different slates for different things. I'm guessing maybe the Reggie's or whatever. No, I don't need to use Repel here. Yeah, I guess this is where I want to start because I haven't really done much of this. So we're going to kind of go into it. Let's just go ahead and use this discovery slate I just got. Okay, fit perfectly. Pedestal started shining. That's nice. It's Reg Ice in the pure space. Okay, so this would probably be a good time for me to save my game, but like I'm going to do that. Um, I do need to be careful, though. I don't want to knock it out by accident. I'll just be careful. It'll work out just fine. I have a bunch of Pokeballs <laughs> that I didn't use on, uh, on whatchamacallit. Wow, this music sounds really good. I really like this music, dang. Okay, let's go ahead and use a quick ball. Maybe I'll get lucky. Probably not. I did just get pretty darn lucky. Okay, zap cannon. Dodge that. Very nice. Yeah, so Red Ice has an absolute ton of special defense. So I really don't want to hit it with any special base attacks. But it even has some pretty good defense as well. So I just have to make sure I'm not going to accidentally knock it out with a crit or anything like that. I'm not going to weaken it that much, though. Like, I'll probably get it to about half. I'm going to use one more strength. And that will probably do. Because if I get a crit, I could knock it out. And I did not save after catching Heat Ran, so I'm kind of kind of going in here a little bit rough. In fact, in thinking about it, I don't think Dusk Balls are going to work here, are they? No, so this is going to be a pain. I'm going to want to depend on my Timer Balls. We'll just toss an Ultra Ball for now. So yeah, one goal I definitely have is I want to I want to get the Reggies because that is something that will be very very useful. Oh, superpower! So that also lowers its defense, well, and attack as well. But I really got to be careful. So I don't want to I don't really want to damage it anymore. If I do, it'd be with like Ice Beam or something. I think that'd be extremely safe. Okay, I mean, sure. <laughs> I'm totally fine just catching legendary Pokemon in two balls. That is, that's great. Yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> Literally, cool, <laughs> Regice, nice. So that worked out pretty well. 
Its body is made of ice from the Ice Age. It controls frigid air of minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit. Ooh. All right, well, I'll give it a name. I don't think I named anything chilling, but if I did, well, <laughs> you're chilling too. Uh, yeah, so look at that special defense. Look at that special defense, 298. Wow, and even good defense. I mean, not great, but not bad at all. Like this thing, it just walls. It's so defensive like that. Cool, well, I got Reg Ice and I got Heatran. Fire and Ice. <laughs> I like it. That's actually pretty funny. That's kind of unintentional. So I have not ever done any of this Rominous Park stuff. I haven't even watched like any videos. I, I just kind of going in here totally blind, like, but it was fun. It was, was kind of cool. So it looks like that lit up now. So I'm guessing I need to, I'm guessing I now need to get the rest of those underground and I've not had very good luck with that. What an amazing Pokemon you've caught. I'll give you a statue that looks just like it. Nice, a Regice statue. Uh, it's a rare statue only available in Ramanus Park. Please put it up in your secret base in the Grand Underground. I think I will. Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, right. The Pokemon that does nothing but eat and sleep. I don't have Snorlax. I feel like I tried Munchlax before and it didn't work. So that's why I didn't do it recently. So I need one more of the Mysterious Shard S and then I'll get another Discovery Slate. I guess that's where I need to start. I need to start with those. Probably until I get all three, and then I can go fight Reggie Gigas in the Snowpoint Temple. And there's still Cresselia on my list, but oh man, I'm having terrible flashbacks to my original Diamond Adventure series. So yeah, I don't really think I, well, I'll do it. It's probably next on my list, but I'm dreading it. But then again, if it's as easy to catch as these last two have been, well, that'll be fine. I'm Quite satisfied with that. Quite satisfied indeed. Well, anyway, I guess that'll do it for now, and I will see you on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Brilliant Brrrr with Reg Ice, right? Brilliant Diamond Adventure. See you next time, everyone.